Hi, and welcome to Whiskey Shared. You're watching day 20 of my mystery whiskey advent calendar. I'm Toby, and you're watching Whiskey Shared. Welcome to day 20 of my mystery whiskey advent calendar. If you've seen this before and you know it works, then you can just skip straight forward to the tasting. Otherwise, the way this works is I have over 150 samples in my sample collection, and my wife has picked 24 at random. She'll put one a day into a blue Glencairn glass, and I'll nose it, I'll taste it, I'll tell you if I like it, and I'll have a stab at what I think it is. Should we find out what I'm drinking? On to the whiskey. If you'd like to play along with me and find out what's in my glass when I do, then just keep watching. Otherwise, take a look in the description now for a sneak peek. Let's start with the nose. Okay, so I'm getting like toffee. There's some fruitiness in there as well. A little bit of malted barley. There's a slight um, bitterness as well. Possibly this could be uh, sherry matured. Yeah, that fruitiness definitely reminds me of a sherry whiskey, that sort of dry, uh, sort of tannin sort of note that I'm picking up on the nose definitely corresponds with that. Doesn't seem overly high ABV on the nose. And it's not overly sweet. Let's move on to the palate. Okay, so that's quite punchy on the palate. The nose definitely didn't give away how hot that would be. Um, it is incredibly, incredibly fruity. Um, I'm thinking this is potentially a cast strength sherry matured whiskey. It's very bold. Reminds me a little bit of a Glendronic 18, that sort of vibe, but obviously higher ABV. It is definitely a, a winter dram, definitely ideal for Christmas. A little bit drying and bitter on the finish, but yeah, it's it's got the right level of sweetness. Let's have another sip. Yeah, there's a nice nice mouthfeel with this. I'm definitely getting some of that toffee sweetness that I was getting on the nose. It is very hot. I think this is easily 55 to 60% ABV. Um, quite prickly on the palate for me as well, at that ABV. It's making me salivate a bit, which does happen when the ABV is quite high. Um, yeah, it's got a, a definite sherry maturation uh, with this, the fruity uh, notes incredibly bold. You know, it is like uh, Christmas pudding and mince pies, but you know, on like you know, turned up to eleven, it's really punchy. Let's have one final sip. Yeah, it's just more of the same. It's that really punchy, fruity, um, sherried influence. There's that bitterness and slightly tannic nature on the finish. There's lots of heat. There's lots of chili pepper on the on the tongue as well. It's yeah, it really is an intense sherried dram. I think this obviously deserves a good splash of water to get it to that sweet spot because I think the heat probably loses some of its uh, potential quality. I think it's, I think it's probably a Scotch whiskey. Um, there's some familiarity in there, but not enough for me to pick a distillery. I think the sherry has overwhelmed uh, 
any distillery character that might stand out. But um, I think there's probably a reasonable age, 12 to 15 years. Obviously, the ABV is anywhere between 55 and 60. And, um, yeah, I think it's a Highland Scotch whiskey. Should we find out what's in my glass? Right, so it's a Balconus True Blue Car Strength. It's 65.7% ABV. And it was sent to me by Frederick Hansen. So, thanks, Frederick. Yeah, um... The Balconus True Blue, I think, is a blue corn American whiskey. I've no idea if it is matured in anything or whether or not the flavours of this are purely from, you know, high corn or 100% corn mash bill. But, yeah, it wasn't coming across like a like a, a bourbon-style corn whiskey, but obviously it's quite deceiving that it could be that it, because it's very hot, the 65.7% is probably one of the highest strength whiskies I've ever tasted. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely going to look into whether or not this is, you know, matured in anything other than, uh, you know, American oak, or whether or not this is um, just a, a, a corn whiskey. But yeah, it blew me away. It was definitely... Definitely very punchy, and I think I'm going to add some water to this uh, off camera and try and find that sweet spot so I can enjoy it properly. Um, yeah, I, I don't think this is a whiskey that's available. I think maybe it is from time to time, but I don't think it's something you can just easily go and buy. Um, but yeah, it's one punchy whiskey that I'm really glad I got the chance to try. Hopefully, you found that interesting and hopefully you come back tomorrow for day 21 sauncher i hope you enjoyed this video if you did why not give it a like or a comment and please consider subscribing for more videos like this